Butterflies are so fragile, guys, and that's one of the things about keeping a curated uh, insect collection. They're so fragile. There's so many things that can destroy them that it's really, it's really maddening how fast your specimens can be destroyed. So let's go ahead and mount this beautiful female regal fertility here. I'm going to have a, this is a black enamel number two size pin. There's a few different companies that sell them. You can get them from Carolina Biological Supplies. Um, you can order them. There's some European brands, right? So what we're going to do is we are going to place the pin right in the middle of the thorax, okay? Straight through, and when it comes out, it should come out right in between the middle legs, the two middle legs on the left and right side. So let's see if we can show this to you. Let's see. Try and focus in the right way. So it should be straight, guys. It should come straight through the top of the thorax, in through, out through the bottom, in between the, the middle legs, the left and right sides of the middle legs, right in the middle. And then what we're going to do is we are going to use our protom block. We're gonna pick the, the longest uh, gap here in this hole. We're gonna put the pin right in there, push it all the way down. That places the butterfly the right size on the pin. And then now we're ready to mount our butterfly. Okay, now I'm gonna cut this two little tiny strips about, oh, I'd say a quarter or an eighth in, inch thick, these little tiny strips. And what I'm gonna do with those is I'm going to pin those down as close to the groove of the board as possible. Like this. Okay. Now, what these strips are going to do is these are going to hold the, the wings of the butterfly in place as I move the wings into the place where I want them. I'll use these strips to hold the wings down until I can get the other paper over the outside of the wings. By the way, look at the dimorphic nature or the uh, how the underside, the ventral side looks so much different than the dorsal side. What a beautiful butterfly. All right, now we're going to place the butterfly... In the, in the groove, the pin in the groove, and there's a foam on the bottom, right in the middle. And we're gonna have the thorax slide down this, this board until the thorax is right where the wings would rest flat on each side of the board. Okay, so your my butterfly's thorax is in the groove, but it's right where the wings would lay flat on the board. So you see how this, they're flat on the board now? Okay, so now we take our little strips, we put them over the top of the wing. Now what I can do, do, I can actually pin these strips down like that. And like this. Now, our butterfly wings are flat on this board right here, guys. We'll use a pin and we'll just you slide the wing up into position using the vein. I'm not puncturing the wing. I'm just using the, the vein of the butterfly wing to move the wing into position. And then I'll pin it down right on top of that wing. Same thing with the hind wing. There's a vein right here. I'm not puncturing the wing. I'm just use, pushing the wing with the vein till I get the wing into position. If I didn't sever those tendons, there's no way I'd be able to do this. There it goes. All right, time to do the other side. Okay, same thing. I'm using 
there's a there's a vein that goes right along the top edge of this wing. I'm going to use that vein because it's nice and firm. Push this wing into position where this this line should be straight across on this butterfly. Let's see, this might be a little crooked there, All right? So the line on the bottom of the forewing should go straight across all the way to the other side of the butterfly. And that's the best way to know that your wing is in the right position. All right, last but not least, the, the right forewing. Use the vein and bring it up into position. Oh, this guy's being a little tricky. All right, so he doesn't want to stay in position. Maybe that tendon didn't get severed all the way. So I'm just going to use a little puncture mark there. Hold it in place while I get another pin a little bit further down. Okay. And I'm going to put it right there. Now I can take this one out. You can barely see it. And now our butterfly specimen's wings are symmetrically mounted. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to push this abdomen down a little bit so it's in position, and now I'm going to deal with the antenna. Let's see. The antenna are kind of tough after a butterfly's been sitting in an envelope. The antenna can be tough, so you have to put the head in the right position. And one of those antennas already broken. But there. And I just use the pins to put the antenna where I want them. Now, final step, guys, is measure out some strips of this thicker paper that will cover the entire edges of the wing. We'll lay them down over the top here. And we will pin... We'll pin them down so that the, the wings are covered and they can't curl as they dry. Because if you don't cover them, the wings will curl as they dry and you'll be very upset because your specimen doesn't look right. Oops. And we are done mounting this. So what I usually do, I'll usually write on the piece of paper here the date that I put it on the board because I want to keep it on at least two weeks in an air-conditioned environment where there aren't going to be pests like ants and roaches that eat them. And we're going to let it dry, let the air conditioning dry out the fluids that the hydration chamber put in. And in about two weeks, our Regal Fertillery will be ready to come off the board, guys. Uh, thanks so much for joining me on this video on how to spread the wings of a butterfly. This is a Regal Fertillery, Sparia Idalia. We'll go ahead and make a label on it and we'll put the label on as we take it off the board in a couple weeks. Take care, guys. Thanks so much for watching.